Okay, I'm gonna try the sake cured salmon. I'm really excited about it because I've never had sake cured anything. Hello everyone, we are in the Philippines in Manila. Um, for Rod and Yeva's wedding. What's up, Sue's followers? We out here in the Philippines right now, in the main streets of Manila. Hey, come on, sorry, real quick. Come on, sorry. Now, what we have here is a cathedral, right? We're gonna have we're gonna have a ceremony for my brother, Mr. Roderick Talon, and for Miss Nieva Palone. Shit, edit that out. Boop. When you look out into the sea of people, it's not just the family. It's gonna be additional family, new family and friends, lovers and friends. Ush. So this is one of the most exclusive cathedrals in all of Manila. Matter of fact, all of Fil all of Philippines, all in the whole world. And we have John and Mel and JD and Ryan. Um, and Rod and we're gonna walk down this aisle. It's a beautiful, beautiful cathedral. One hour later. We're at the wedding of Rod and Nieva. Today is 2 20, 20 and this is the reception. It's gorgeous. moved to a second uh, location where we're staying here for one night before we go to the province tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to show you what we got here at Manila Hyatt uh, Regency Hotel for uh, 8,000 points and I'll show you what our room looks like. It's really nice. This is the bathtub. It's a gorgeous bathroom. I do wish we were staying here for one more night, but I will appreciate it for the night we have it here. It's very clean, modern, sleek. This is a little snack bar here with some complimentary coffee and water. Big closet space, clean, soft bed. I really have been appreciating beds while traveling. Uh, and we have a really pretty view here with just lights everywhere and you can um, see the hot tub over there kind of, it's kind of nice. and the pool right there. So yeah, we got this for 8,000 points. So pro tip, I would recommend you signing up for uh, Hyatt membership and you can have nights like this for free with points and also we're going to take you to the club lounge here at the Hyatt where you have access to like free drinks and some snacks and that comes with the perks of being a Hyatt member so we'll see you guys there bye oh my god it's so like fancy I feel really bad walking in I feel really underdressed you know, they have the miso ramen right here hello they have this beautiful refrigerator stocked in perfect alignment. Oh my gosh, another buffet today? <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed. Kiwi vinaigrette, they have a cocktail bar. We can make our own cocktails tonight. Oh, I see like ube cookies. This is so nice. Could I get a San Miguel light, please? San Miguel. Yeah, okay. thank you. It almost is so thick that it kind of passes for a mango smoothie. I'm trying new cheeses. Well, cheddar cheese I've already tried. But I'm trying blue cheese, and then I'm trying camembert. Definitely not the right way to pronounce it, I'm sure, but that's how I'm gonna say it. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh, 
seriously, beer while you're traveling, while you're on vacation, is just the best feeling in the world. The broth is sleek. Ramen and beer right now. Okay, I'm gonna try the sake cured salmon. I'm really excited about it because I've never had sake cured anything. It's a good anju, like with beer. Great day of eating today. Um, I'm just gonna finish the rest of my beer and then gonna call it an early night because we have an early morning tomorrow. So we'll see you in the province. Good night. Oh, so we are going to show you something very special. The biggest the largest chair in Philippines. Ta-da! <laughs> Can you see it? In the midst of all this is this chair. I was like, what is it for? But then I read the sign and it said that chair is like a Filipino um, sign of hospitality and affluence. We're walking the alleyway. You almost flipped here, Paul. Small alleyway. That's your house? They were neighbors. You were really neighbors. That's Mike's mom's house. Oh, he used to climb the fence. <laughs> we found one. We found those chairs. Uh, we are at Jerry's Grill here in a shopping mall in the province of Alagan, Sinigang. Ipon means ship. Sinigang na baboy. What is baboy? Pig? Oh. Pork. Ooh, some halo halo. Fried chicken. Filipinos love fried chicken like Koreans. This is the watermelon cucumber juice. And then Mike got the mango juice. He's been getting mango every day, every like meal. Mango boy. This here, we have the synagogue baboy, which is pork, rice, and rice. Adobo rice. Oh, adobo rice. Crispy pata. Well, that's what we call sizzling CT. Squid. It's a feast. It's breaking the eggs. Ooh. Ooh. It's just so close to our hotel. We're eating tonight at Belly Good Grill House. This is definitely owned by a Korean, I think. It's a Korean pork. The menu style is very Korean esque. And they have like kimchi pancakes, side dishes, and spicy soup. Ooh, I've, I've been missing kimchi a lot actually. I just tried some of their kimchi and I was telling Mike that I think they kind of a little bit sweeten the kimchi and their other side dishes, the Korean dishes, because I think Filipinos like sweeter food, so I think they kind of changed it to their taste. Okay, I'm gonna try the apple flavor, San Miguel beer. I think my favorite thing so far in the Philippines. You can really taste the apple, but it's still a beer. I've never tasted apple flavored beer ever. I'm gonna miss this. Wow. And I already feel it. We are in the Green Belt District, which is basically like a very fancy shopping district in Manila. And we have a whole day to kill before our flight at midnight. Um, so we came to Max's. Oh, food is here, so hungry. So we got the basic meal, which Max is famous for their fried chicken. This is like $4. And then I also got shrimp sinigang. I love having soup. It reminds me of the kimchi jjigae. Um, so I'm excited to dig into that. That costs around $8. And then we got also got chicken sisig. I'm gonna mix it up really well. And then you're given a side of calamansi that you can sizzle it squeeze it on here and that was around five dollars we got to do the filipino formalities banana ketchup put it on as a side and then tear off a piece of the chicken it's so crispy oh my goodness and then dip it oh i'm so excited Oh my god, I think we need another order. Wow, it's so crispy on the outside. The meat is so juicy. 
can combine with the banana ketchup is just way better than KFC, way better because it's not as salty as KFC, better quality, and it is definitely better than Jolly Bees. Mm. I'm so glad we tried this before we leave today. So I've been loving this vacation, but most importantly, it was nice to be with Mike's family and also for Rod and Yeva's wedding. This is why we all came um, for. And then it was also really nice to spend time with Mike's parents and go fly with them to the province where they grew up. Like, I think that's a very, very rare opportunity for Mike and I to be able to experience that with his parents. And I think I picked up some Tagalog. Crispy pata. I feel confident saying salama po now. Just a I feel a little bit more Filipino, which is nice because my husband's Filipino. So I kind of appreciate more of his heritage now, I feel like. So it was a really fun trip. We've only been here for six days, but overall it's been a great trip. We're the gym right now. We're gonna kill a little time more workout in before our flight, feel fresh. And speaking of airport, you can literally see it right there. It's that building right beyond the bridge. So we just got some balut from Mike's parents, which they went to the SM Markets, which is a Filipino grocery store. And they brought us balut. A uh, very premature chicken egg? Is it? Oh, duck egg. And it's a small one, and you have to get the smaller ones because um, so then that the chick fetus is smaller. But it's so good when you um, have it with vinegar and salt. I've never tried this. This is so cool. It's vinegar bag that it comes with. And then I crack it. It's kind of soft. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Very gamey. Really like it. It's like rich flavors. Hard. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like. I can't. Wow. Can you hear how hard it is? The wet is very chewy. I think it goes really well with beer. Beer and you. I'm excited for the yellow. Because I think it's gonna be like creamy. So we are at the Matina Lounge, which is one of the four uh, airport lounges we have access to with the priority pass. We arrived around 5 a.m. It is now around 11, and our flight back home is at 2.40. So we still have like three, four hours to kill, but it's been nice because it's just been like lounge hopping, and this is our second one at Matina Lounge, and I got some Korean drinks, oolong tea, and some meji, which is Korean plum. Now Mike can't say bye to the mango juice yet. Mango boy! Um, so now we're gonna hit up Asiana Lounge, and anyone can access this lounge as long as you're flying with Asiana, and also if you have a priority pass. So thankfully we have those two, so we're gonna kill some more time in Asia and alone. We actually have already been here this morning. There's three of them within this terminal, but I like this lounge the best out of the other ones because they have better selection of food and drinks and more room and it's just cleaner too. We're here, bar hopping with our N95 masks on. I want to show you guys something really cool. Beer tap. That is really cool. I will show you guys. I'm excited. Wait until the beer is full. Oh, that's it? Oh, it fills up as you turn it. We just want to show you guys. So stop. Okay. And then move the cup by gently turning it the same way. Voila basically clicks in and then it fills it from the bottom how cool is that and it tastes really good too strength i think that means like strength this asiana lounge has been 
very accommodating to us for the past nine hours in Seoul. Um, the food was good and I got refreshed with the massage chair and we had a good nice nap along there. I actually felt like the nine hours went by very fast. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I'm glad the time wasn't as slow as I thought it would be. We're gonna get on our flight in like 10 minutes. Got a double decker. Going back to America. It was such a fun trip. Goodbye Philippines, goodbye Korea. Congrats to Rod and Yeva. We're out. <laughs>